Have you ever wondered how you're hardwired? I'm here at the Da Vinci Science Center in Allentown to find out. So Jonathan, we know that in order to see our cells, we have to look through a microscope. But is there a way for us to actually see our DNA? Well, see, the problem with DNA is it's even smaller than our cells. So even with a microscope, we can't see a strand of DNA. But luckily, there is so much of it in our, in our body and in our cells. If we get enough of it together, we should be able to see it even without a microscope. And so what are we doing here today? All right, what I'm going to do is we're going to extract some DNA out of cells from your body and see whether we can see it. OK, I'm ready. All right. We're going to get it from cheek cells. Cheeks are lined with skin, and they shed cells into the saliva in your mouth. So this is where it gets fun and really disgusting. OK. What we're going to do is put a little bit of water in our mouth, swish it around for a minute, and then spit it back into the cup. OK. Ready? Now, as I said, we've got lots of things in there besides our cheek cells, so we want to clean it up a bit. What we're going to do is we're going to add some sodium chloride solution, which is just a solution of normal table salt. And then what we're going to do is put a lid on, gently mix it. That should clean up all of those cells, and now we can start getting the DNA out of them. So at the moment, the DNA is inside the nuclear membrane, which is inside the cell membrane. We've got to break those open to get it out. Okay. So membranes are made of lipids, which is another word for fats. And a chemical that's really good at breaking down fats is detergent, as you'd know if you ever washed up the dishes. That's right, it is. So let's add about 20 drops of detergent, and that should start breaking down all those membranes. So once we do this and mix it again, that DNA should come out of the cells and start floating around inside the liquid. And it's going to be dissolved in there, so we won't be able to see it yet. Now, what we're going to do is we want to actually have the DNA come out of solution. So we're going to add isopropyl alcohol very carefully so it floats on top of the water. Okay. And what we, what's going to happen when we do that is the DNA will move up into the alcohol, but it can't dissolve in alcohol, so it will actually become a solid again, and we should be able to see it. And that clear layer is alcohol, and the cloudy layer on the bottom is our water. And now, we don't need to shake it up this time, but we should start to see little cloudy strings moving into the clear liquid, and that's our DNA. Wow, that's amazing! That's my DNA, and that's yours. That's the blueprint to build you. Well, I'm taking my DNA with me. <laughs> that's all for me today. For Science Time, I'm Brittany Garzillo.